That's another bullshit ass cliche. What you don't know won't hurt you. Yeah, it'll kill you. Motherfucker, it can kill you. You know? Know your mind. You know what I'm saying? You trying to study a major for, for a bag. You trying to do this like, nah, make it easy for yourself. Make up like, all of this shit should be like water, bro. It should be like water. You know what I mean? That's how we should be able to navigate through this world. Like water, man, but we don't. Like, you got to think about it. Water can't be blocked. Water can't be blocked. Like, you pour, like, wherever, like, water is going to make its move to where it needs to go. You know? Anything in the way gets eroded. Think about it. You know? But that's how, you, you got to be like water. But we're trying, we're just trying to be like, you know, be rigid in our, in our movements. We're not trying to be fluid. You feel what I'm saying? We're trying to, to do and create ourselves based off of what fits the norm, what fits society, what fits the standards, what's going to get us the, the acclaim and all of the accolades. Fuck that. You can get whatever accolades you need when, when the time comes. But if you're dwelling on that and dwelling on getting that shit, you're going to lose every time. You'll never achieve what you're supposed to get because who you are... I mean, and I, I don't mean, because, like, I have awards. I have all kind of shit from undergrad. Those shit, that shit meant nothing to me, and I never understood why. I got, I got Distinguished Leadership Award twice. Eh, so what? I didn't feel it. It just didn't feel good. Like, it, was, it wasn't like, eh, you know? Shit like that just didn't matter. Like, because it's like, I was supposed to do that. You feel me? That was a part of the whole college experience. You put in the work to get that shit. You know, but in this this phase of life, it's little shit like you know seeing book reviews, seeing five star book reviews. Now that's that shit hits me like it's like oh shit, that's what I was talking about. You know what I mean? Seeing people buy, you know what I'm saying, buy a vegan class, you know, and actually you know participate in, and then becomes like that shit makes me feel good. Like it's like okay, that's what I'm here for. That's who I am. You know. You know, but it took me knowing who I was to do that, to get to that point. I had to isolate. I had to be by myself. I had to be by myself. And that's one of the hardest realities because people have not separated being alone from being lonely. And because they have not separated being alone from being lonely, they don't want to take that time to be. Why do you think? As funny as we as it is, and we roast them and we joke so motherfucking much when they get out of prison and they're like, yo, are you a prison philosopher? They was in solitary confinement a lot. Why is a motherfucker who goes to solitary? In solitary confinement, motherfuckers is going to do one of two things. Either they're going to find their mind or they're going to lose that motherfucker. They're going to find it or they're going to lose it. Because they're alone. They're by themselves. They have to sit with nothing but them. No distractions. No outside inter in interference. They have to listen to what's inside. You feel what I'm saying? Look at the Malcolm X movie. When they put him in a uh, solitary confinement for not repeating his, his number. You, you really think that's an accident? Why Malcolm X became who he was when he got out of jail? He spent time with himself. Opened up to who he was. On the inside. You feel what I'm saying? He brought the essence in from the inside out. You know what I mean? Not many of us are willing to spend that time alone. You feel what I'm saying? We're not willing to spend that time alone simply because, simply because we're, it, 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 puts, it puts a light up, a real light. Now we gotta sit with the darkness. We gotta sit with the demons. Like, we gotta take, this, we gotta take the monsters out of the closet and put them in the cemetery. You know? What's that song by uh, Eminem and Rihanna? Uh, I'm friends with a monster who's under my bed. Yeah, after you, you know, after you get become free, you gotta evict them. They should not be living with, in, in your space. You feel what I'm saying? Because that comes with, but that comes with, you know, things like shame and guilt. You know, shame comes from, you know, internalizing that a guilty situ a, a situation that made us guilty made us who are who we are and define that moment. A bad choice made us this person. A bad choice is why we're like that. This is who we are because of this bad choice. Nah, that bad choice happened. That's it. That's the end of it.